Okay, so for Christmas I had some vouchers for Amazon and I want to know how you think I could spend them wisely. Um, particularly with reference to maybe a programming book. Uh, could you let me know? Thanks! Yeah, well, it's funny you should ask that because um, I've recently purchased my second Python programming book, my first being how to learn Python the hard way. I made sure that the book I was going to purchase next was going to take me a bit past and beyond what I'd learned in that um, and also go over, uh, give a sort of a second opinion on um, classes, automated testing and APIs. So here we go, Python crash course. And there's a snake strangling an aeroplane engine, jet's engine, if you would. Um, so I don't know if anyone else is able to recommend any books. Be very pleased to hear about other books that people have successfully referred to and read. I don't really want to hear about books that are rubbish. I'm sure nor do you. The init method for a child class. So yeah, trying to learn a bit more about classes than just the basics. Super. Who doesn't want to learn about what super means? So the book is, as you can see, 14 point something thick. I don't know. Who knows? Star. The asterisk allows you to pass an unknown number of uh, parameters to a function. Didn't know that. Learned something already. I think that might be new in Python 3. Who knows? I will find out once I've read it, won't I? These books are published by No Starch. Uh, looping through dictionary keys in a particular order, starting with Python 3.7. Yeah, because previously they just were random. Yeah, so no starch press. If anyone's heard of them or uh, seen them before, they do a range of nice books. I said book because I'm trying to be ironic. In the UK, we have different regional accents and in the north people say book in the south we say book just noticing the uh, spines look like it eventually will fall apart but we need to get a nice uh git yes i've been reading and starting to use git but i need a reference book so again app who doesn't want to learn about apps these days. If this all goes pear-shaped, then I will buy a lawnmower. I have an alert set on uh, Gumtree. If anyone knows what Gumtree is, it's a bit like eBay, but free. And I'll buy a lawnmower, and I will go lawn mowing in the summer, and if I can find work doing freelance programming one day, well, if my back aches or if I chop my toes off, then I may do Python as well. Sorry about the rant, but it's a bit of a sad time at the moment. My former boss, he's now assembling greenhouses. Two mu six months ago, he was writing the code for a multi-million pound company. Anyway, a ship that fires bullets. You may have seen a previous video on that, where the little spaceship was uh, moving left and right. And I used Pygame with that, and that was based upon this book. I actually found a sample chapter of this book, which was what I referred to. However, now I have the whole book. There's no excuses. I can complete that project. Ship that fires bullets. What's not to like? And we are now looking at the index, which is not particularly useful, but you can see not very much at the moment. Um, the second half of the book features the game, Firing Bullets, which I think was put in there to really help learn 
and understand classes. Um, after that, there is a whole section on data visualization, and obviously anyone who gets involved with Python probably does it because they are going to work with data in some shape or form. So yeah, data visualization and um, matplot, uh, mat, matplotlib, I think it's called, matplotlib, yeah. Anyway, I bought a book, so there we go. I may have to go away into a dark, and, well not too dark because I wouldn't be able to read the writing, but a darkened room and read this for a while, so um, I will be back at some point in due course with some gems of things which I've learned. Uh, coffee cup on the desk as well. I don't know whether co coffee's good for you or bad for you. I think it's a bit of both, isn't it? It's got antioxidants in it. But it can raise your blood pressure, so everything in moderation except moderation. No, that was a quote. I didn't really mean that. Um, yeah, so, anyway, the book is by Eric Mathes Maths. It's the second edition. I've bought the second edition. I'm very conscious that I need to buy the latest edition because you will often see, think you're getting a bargain and then you'll end up getting the first edition and then the bits in it are based on Python 2.7 or older code and then that's not ideal is it? But I'm going to probably start in the middle of this book because I've got a very bad habit of starting in the middle. But I don't really want to learn page one what a variable is and I'm sure neither do you. But I think from halfway through it's going to be new bits and pieces which I learned. So yeah, trying to get a book which only covers stuff you don't know is a bit of a recipe for a disaster because you end up in it right at the deep end and it just looks like gobbledygook. If anyone knows what gobbledygook is, if you don't, look it up. And if you don't know how to look it up, well, not my problem. G-O-B-B-L-E-D-E-G-O-O-K, I think it's spelt. Don't quote me on that. I don't want to be sued for misguidance or whatever it's called. Anyway, you're probably getting bored by now, but um, yeah, that's today's, today's excitement. And it's the start of the month, so I've just filled in my fictitious timesheet for last month for my employer because they are a bit dopey and they make me put in loads of spurious codes into a database to try and, I don't know, let them know what I've been working on. But they don't even help with giving me the codes. So if they don't help me, I don't help them. And I think that's how we should all proceed in life help people who are helpful and if people don't help you well then don't help them I'd just like to thank um, Maxim for his help with the um, PDF to text um, and the, he showed me the regular expressions method of um, replacing all the spaces with commas and then um, substituting multiple commas with one comma and then I had a nice comma delineated CSV which I, I really appreciate that that's very very good I'm, uh, thank you that's, that's I'm not being sarcastic here that I genuinely mean thank you um, yeah I'll be back soon with some more more gold golden nuggets of stuff anyway I'm off bye